Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your very first styling HTML5 forms tutorial. So, although we are going to be styling a HTML5 form from scratch in this series, I am going to expect you to know a little bit of CSS and HTML before we begin. Typically, you should know how to code up a simple HTML form and maybe how to use selectors to style that in a basic way. And then this series is going to focus on expanding that using some extra techniques to make your forms look better and to customize them according to your website. So if you don't know anything about CSS or HTML, this is not a good place to start. You want to check out my CSS for Beginners series and my HTML for Beginners series. I'll leave the link to both of those down below. I have also created a repository for this on my GitHub page. It's called Styling HTML5 Forms Playlist and I'll leave the link to this down below. So inside this repo, we just have an image folder with a few different images that we're going to be using in this series, as well as an index.html file, which contains the form HTML. I've already written that for us, and we're going to go through that in a minute. And then finally, we have this styles.css file, which is pretty much blank at the minute, and we're going to build this up as we go through the series. So if you want to work along with me, all you have to do is go to this button, clone or download, and either clone it or download it to your desktop in a zip file. Then just open it up in your favorite text editor. I'm going to be using Atom in this series, which you can find at atom.io. This is a really neat text editor. A lot of people always ask me which one I'm using when they see my videos. It is Atom and it is completely free. So, yep, go ahead and download that if you want to also. Okay, so I've downloaded those files from my repo and I've opened them up in Atom. And you can see here we have the index file, the stars file, and these images up there as well. So, we're going to go through this index file in a moment. And first of all, I thought I'd give you a quick preview of what we're going to be building. This is the form in its finished state. And you can see we've got some custom images here for the uh, radio buttons and the checkboxes. So if we click these, you can see we have more custom imagery. Then we have some custom images down here. We also have some kind of validation um, going on. If I type in a valid field right here, I get that little tick. And we've styled up the select box and the button as well. So I'm going to show you how we do all these different things in this series but we are going to start from a blank slate which looks something like this pretty cool or not so just to run you through the html that i've created first of all we're linking up to the styles.css in the head then we are outputting this logo right here in the header which is this thing that you can barely see at the minute then the first section here is this in the form the gender and all it is is a couple of radio buttons and we also have a label for each one. Now notice this, we have a four equals male, which matches up to the ID right here. Now what that does is associate this label with this input type right here. So now if I click on the label, it selects that input type. And it's the same for the checkboxes down here. If we associate the labels like this, we say four equals male, and that equals to the ID of the input field, then it associates the two. Okay, so that's why we've done that. So the second section is this interest section, and that is just a series of checkboxes, and each checkbox has an interest, so we're going to style those up as well. The third part is this contact details part, which is a field set, which is why it has this border around it. That is the default styling of a field set. The legend is the title for that field set, which sits inside the border right there. Then we have an input for email and one for telephone. And also we've added these spans right here afterwards with a class of tick, which is going to be used for that kind of validation when we input a valid field, that tick is going to appear. Um, then down here we have a select box, which is this thing right here, asking how they would prefer to be contacted. And then finally, that submit button at the bottom. Cool. So that is the HTML. Now, if we dive into the styles, you can see there's actually nothing here except for a few comments. So I've split this series into six videos. And in each video, we're going to do a different thing. So this first one is just going to be applying some base styles to make this form not look so crappy. So first of all, what do I want to do? I want to apply a background color to the body. So I'll say body. And then I'm just going to say background. And it's going to be a deep charcoal. 141414. And if I save this, it's going to auto update over here. Cool. So now we can at least see that logo. Next, I want to say margin zero all the way around and font family for the whole form is going to be Arial. Cool, so let's save that. All right, now then, let's also target this header section right here. So we'll say header 
then inside that I want to say background is going to be a little bit darker than this thing right here so the header stands out a little bit more so I'll say background and it's going to be 0d 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 save that and now we can see that strip right there I also want to say padding is going to be about 20 pixels all the way around that header and we'll say text align is going to be center which is going to centralize that logo in the middle cool so next we'll target the form and we just want to say margin 20 pixels all the way around for that so it doesn't sit right against the edges then we'll say color throughout the form is going to be e e e save that and now we can at least see those form fields finally i want to say form p and the form p's are these things right here so we want to make those stand out a little bit more so the first thing we'll do is increase the font size we're going to say font size is going to be 18 pixels and then we'll also say letter spacing 0.1 m's which is going to just increase the space between each one of these letters right here so let's save that dude and check it out and there we go okay so we've got our form in a workable state now it's starting to look a little bit better and in the next tutorial what we're going to do is take a look at these bad boys right here the radio boxes and we're going to style those up using some custom imagery i'll see you guys then